This is a video from section 2.7. The directions say to find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at the given point. And so I want to draw a visual of what it is we are looking for. Suppose this is the y-axis and suppose this is the x-axis. And suppose I'm given the graph of y equals f of x. So let's suppose it looks something like this. And I need to identify a point on the graph. And let's suppose the point is right here. And we're going to call that point AB. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the equation of the tangent line, which is the line in blue. Okay? So, again, this is the graph of y equals f of x. And so I'll draw arrows to indicate that the graph keeps going. Now, remember here, f prime of a is the slope of the tangent line. at the point AB. So in other words, F prime of A represents the slope of that blue line. And to find the equation of the tangent line, We need the slope and a point. And keep in mind, the point has already been provided to us. The only thing we need to calculate is that slope. And with that in mind, let's take a look at an example. So in example one, we have y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. And the point is 3, 4. And we want the equation of the tangent line. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let f of x equal 2x squared minus 5x plus 1. Now, remember that f prime of 3, which is the first coordinate of that ordered pair, will represent the slope of the tangent line at that point 3, 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate f prime of 3. Now, f prime of 3 is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of We're going to go f of 3 plus h minus f of 3, all divided by h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. Now, in the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 1, I'm going to replace x with 3 plus h. So I'm going to take 2 times... 3 plus h squared minus 5 times 3 plus h plus 1 minus, and in parentheses, we get 2 times 3 squared minus 5 times 3 plus 1. And I'm going to take that whole entire quantity and divide by h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. So let's take 3 plus h and square it. And so I'm going to get 2 times 9 plus 
6h plus h squared, right? And then I'm going to distribute the negative 5 in to, to the 3 and the h, right? And so this is minus 15 minus 5h. And then I'm going to add 1. And then I'm going to subtract the quantity. And so in the parentheses, I'm going to go 2 times 9. 3 squared is 9, right? So 2 times 9 is 18. 18 minus 5 times 3, which is 15, is 3. 18 minus 15 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So let me just go ahead and subtract 4. And I'm going to divide by h. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. We're going to get 18 plus 12h plus 2h squared minus 15 minus 5h plus 1 minus 4. And I'm going to take that whole quantity and divide by h. Now, 18 minus 15 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So all the numbers are going to go away. And so this is the limit as h goes to 0 of 2h squared plus 7h divided by h which is the limit as h goes to 0 of. Factor out the h from the numerator, and you get 2h plus 7 in parentheses, divided by h. Okay? Now, the h's cancel, and therefore, you get the limit as h goes to 0 of 2h plus 7. And so the answer here is 7. And so therefore, f prime of 3 is equal to 7. And this is going to re represent my slope. So we have a slope of 7 and an ordered pair of 3, 4. We're in business. And so y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So this is point slope form, right? So y minus 4 is the same as 7 times x minus 3. So y minus 4 is 7x minus 21. So solving for y, I get y equals 7x minus 17. And that's example one. Let's take a look at example two. Suppose we had y equals... Um, we'll do this one. Square root of 1 minus 3x. And the ordered pair is negative 1, 2. So, again, I'm going to let f of x equal square root of 1 minus 3x. And so... I need to calculate f prime of negative 1. Notice that negative 1 is the first coordinate of that ordered pair. So I'm trying to calculate the slope of the tangent line at that point, negative 1, 2. And so this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. Well, I'm going to get square root of 1 minus... 3 times negative 1 plus h, like so, minus the square root of 1 minus 3 times negative 1. 
and I'm going to take that quantity and divide by h. So you notice for the first term, I replaced x with negative 1 plus h. In the second term, I replaced x with negative 1. So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. Now, in the first term, we get 1 plus 3 minus 3h inside the radical. And then I'm going to subtract the square root of 1 plus 3 and divide by h. Remember, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, right? So this is the limit as h goes to 0 of the square root of 4 minus 3h minus 2 divided by h. And so the classic way to deal with one of these is I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator. So in other words, I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 4 minus 3h plus 2 divided by the square root of 4 minus 3h plus 2. And so here, this is the limit as h goes to 0 of. Now, square root of 4 minus 3h times square root of 4 minus 3h is... 4 minus 3h. And then negative 2 times a positive 2 is a minus 4. So I'm going to subtract 4. And I'm going to divide by h times square root of 4 minus 3h plus 2. So leave the denominator in factored form. In other words, leave the denominator as a product. Okay? The 4s go away, and what we get is the limit as h goes to 0 of. We get negative 3h in the numerator. In the denominator, we get h times the square root of 4 minus 3h plus 2. But the h's cancel, and so this is the limit as h goes to 0 of, in the numerator, we get negative 3. In the denominator, we get the square root of 4 minus 3h plus 2. Now I'm going to replace h with 0. And so you get negative 3 over the square root of 4 minus 3 times 0 plus 2. So the answer is negative 3 fourths. So therefore, f prime of negative 1 is negative 3 fourths. So this is my slope. That's the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 1, 1. And so therefore, after all that work, We have a slope, negative 3 fourths. And let's go back on our original point. So our original point is negative 1, 2. So I'm going to come over here. Our original point is negative 1, 2. And so remember that y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And so y1 is the second coordinate, x1 is the first coordinate. So y minus 2 is equal to m, which is negative 3 fourths, times x minus negative 1. So y minus 2 is negative 3 fourths times x plus 1. So y minus 2 is negative 3 fourths x minus 3 fourths. And I'm going to add 2 to both sides. 
And when I do, I get y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 5 fourths. And that's going to conclude this video for section 2.7. And we did two examples of finding the equation of the tangent line to the curve at a given point. All right. Thank you.